Hi Year 11, this is Mrs Fellows and I'm going to be talking you through the poem Remains by Simon Armitage. Armitage is an English poet, playwright and novelist and Remains is from his 2008 collection The Not Dead which looks at the effect of the war on ex-soldiers. This poem Remains is based on the account of a British soldier who served in Iraq. Um, the poem is about a group of soldiers who shoot a man while he's running away from a bank raid that he's been involved in. The death of the man that they've shot is described in graphic detail. The soldier telling the story isn't sure whether the man was armed or not, which plays on his mind, and he can't get the man's death out of his head, and he's haunted by the man's death and his involvement in it. I'm just going to read the poem then now. Remains. On another occasion, we get sent out to tackle looters raiding a bank and one of them legs it up the road, probably armed, possibly not. Well, myself and somebody else and somebody else are all of the same mind, so all three of us open fire. Three of a kind, all letting fly, and I swear I see every round as it rips through his life. I see broad daylight on the other side, so we've hit this looter a dozen times and he's there on the ground, sort of inside out, pain itself, the image of agony. One of my mates goes by and tosses his guts back into his body. Then he's carted off in the back of a lorry. End of story, except not really. His blood shadow stays on the street and out on patrol I walk right over it week after week. Then I'm home on leave, but I blink and he bursts again through the doors of the bank. Sleep, and he's probably armed, possibly not. Dream, and he's torn apart by a dozen rounds. And the drink and the drugs won't flush him out. He's here in my head when I close my eyes, dug in behind enemy lines, not left for dead in some distant, sun-stunned, sand-smothered land, or six feet under in desert sand, but near to the knuckle, here and now, his bloody life in my bloody hands. So, three of the most important quotes, in my opinion, to focus on are the repetition of probably armed, possibly not, which is in stanza one and stanza six, because the repetition of it emphasises the voice's guilt about shooting this man and obviously then killing him because he doesn't know if the man was armed or not and therefore whether he could defend himself and therefore equally whether his actions were justified. Um, another quote, and the drink and the drugs won't flush him out, emphasises the impact that um, this death has had on the voice, the idea that he's taking drugs and he's drinking a lot to try and get rid of the memory and also to get rid of the action, which is um, re reinforced through that verb flush, shows that he's actively trying to get rid of this memory, but it won't happen for him. And then the description of the death itself, when he says, I see every round as it rips through his life, which is quite a violent metaphor, the ripping through his life, which shows the shock of the actual death itself. But equally, you could talk about the idea that it's not just ripped through this man's life because it's killed him, but then it's also ripped through the voice's life because of the impact and effect that it's had. In terms of comparison, which is what you're going to need to do in the exam, you can compare this poem and the importance of memory in this poem and the effects of the war with kamikaze, poppies, bayonet charge and war photographer.